What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And the building didn't even start yet. Y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Here we have a um, another divester. Y'all, here we have another divester. Sharika Soul. Uh, she's on that Cynthia G type of time, fellas. And the thing that I laugh, I, I find so goddamn funny with these types of situations, man, is these divestors um, speak from a place of hurt, right? They're so angry. They're so hurt. They're so bitter. Oh, the white man is so great. The white man is so much better than the black man. But you don't see in majority any of these divestors, in majority, I say in majority, you don't see any of these divestors married to a white man. I said this so many times, these, these women... Black women, a lot of the times, y'all are a fetish to them. You are the bedwetter for them. Deb, how do you know that? Because I'm in these circles and I hear these types of things all the damn time. I've said this before when I was in my bachelor's program mainly, but too. But when I was in grad school, I've had conversation. Majority of my colleagues were Caucasian men, Caucasian and Asian men, Indian men. There was times where in a class of 40, I was the only black male in the whole class of 40 in my grad school program. And I tell them all the time, hey, listen, man, hey, I do YouTube. I want to know, what is your thoughts on this? What is your thoughts on that? And they'll tell me, uh, what they'll tell me all the time, hey, yo, Dev, I ain't going to lie, man. Dev, don't take this the wrong way. And I would tell them, no, bro, I'm not taking any type of way. I literally want to know your opinion. Almost every single Caucasian man I knew, I, I, I met from my uh, grad school, almost every single Hispanic, Asian, Indian man all told me the same thing. Dev, I'll sleep with a black woman, but I would never take her serious. I'll never cover her. Why is that? Nah, man, they 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 just they we 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 just can't we just can't mingle together like that. Uh, no, nah, yeah, yeah. I, I sleep with them all the time. Yeah, sex is great for them. They they all said that. Yeah, I slept with a bunch of black women, but I would never I would never date them serious. And that's the point of the con the conversation that we're trying to have with these so called damn divestors. We're gonna get into this video, y'all. I'm so sorry. We're gonna get into it. But these types of things really really pisses me off. Really pisses me off because it's women like her. That's sitting here trying to paint this horrible narrative of black men for whatever reason, of her being hurt and mad about whatever she trauma like, that she experienced as a goddamn child, pushing her traumas on us. When in actuality, you are the problem. You are the one that needs to have some type of mental evaluation, some type of mental help, ma'am. You're a grown ass woman. Seek help, seek professional and mental help. But let's get into it, man. This is where the black men. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Dear black men, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Let's go. This is for the black men that are harassing and threatening me because they found out I have a half-white son. First of all, it's not that you're black that I didn't date you. It's that most of you speak to women like you're standing on a prison yard, and I don't find that attractive. Secondly, no one complains when black men date outside of their race and give their wealth to women outside of their race. But you have a problem when you see a black woman that has dated outside of their race. Is it because you're trying to convince us that we were undesirable when the fact is you're the one that's undesirable and you only have a certain amount of options and we figured it out? Ma'am, it's not the fact that we were trying to make you seem like you're undesirable. We weren't doing that. At least I wasn't. What we were trying to do, or what I was trying to do, is trying to bring your ass back down to reality. Bring the black men to black, this channel, me, this is what I'm trying to do. I can't speak for everybody else, but for me, I'm trying to bring, bring black men black, back to black women. Because black men is fed up with the nonsense and the shenanigans and the antics. We are done. Some of us already passed and some of us done moved on. I told y'all this multiple damn times. I told y'all this how many years ago? Probably four, five years ago. I only have one more relationship in me and I'm done. I don't know if that means I'm done with relationships, period, or I'm just done with black women. I'm start, going to start dating other races of women. I don't know. But what I am saying is I, I have one relationship left and I'm done. Every, all of my exes are, are black. 
I have, well, technically, I, I dated a Hispanic girl, but she looked black. Like, you would look at her and you, you would have thought she was black until you hear her talk and you hear her. You hear she has a very thick, uh, you know, uh, Hispanic accent, Latin accent. But when I first walked up on her, I thought she was a damn black girl. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From South America, she had a, you know, she was a little bit lighter than me, but, you know, had, had a caramel complexion. I just thought she was a little, you know, little, little, little brown sugar thing. Then I heard her accent. I said, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Colombia. I said, oh. By that time, I had already looked at it ass, and I was like, yo, I need this. <laughs> I need to see what this is him for. But no, ma'am, no, we're, we're not trying to make it seem like you are undesirable. That's not what we're doing. We're trying to bring you back down, or I am trying to bring you back down to reality. A lot of y'all have these crazy-ass, unrealistic dating standards, and it needs to be said that you guys need to be brought back to reality. This is insane. Some of the things that you guys are saying and going through and all this, that, and the third. It's insane. And now you're what? You feeling some type of way because of what? Exactly. You became a baby mama by, by, by a white man, and nobody's judging you from that for that. Oh, nobody says anything when black men date out and start dating white men. Yes, yes the hell y'all do. Stop the cap. Stop it. Stop it. Soon as y'all see a black man with what's his name? Uh Tyreek Hill. He just got married to his woman. Who, who was a white, who's, who's a white lady. Black women was flaming him in the comment section. Oh, he couldn't find a sister. Oh, another one gone. Oh, I'm not surprised. Oh, look at him. Oh, he must be weakened. Da, 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 da. What are you talking about? Tyron Hill just got married to his, to his white woman, uh, I want to say a month ago. This just happened. What are you talking about? But I found it funny how this woman, this is the same woman that was sitting here talking so crazy on black men. Years ago, she made a post. Uh, yeah, this, this is just a snippet. Let me let me see if I can speed it up. She made a post back in 2019, August the August 31st, 2019. Sharika Soul, this is the same woman, y'all. Excuse me, this is the same woman from 2019 saying, Dear whoever, stop trashing black men as bad fathers. My son's dad is a white man. What did she just say in the beginning of the video? Her son is half white. That's what she just said. Let's keep going. Stop trashing black men as bad fathers. My son's dad is white and my child has not seen him in 10 years. Insane. I thought only black men do these types of things, ladies. Divesters. Swirler community. Where y'all at? What's going on? Are y'all not saying nothing about this? Where y'all at, Swirler community? Talk to me. Talk to me. What's going on? Here you have a woman who had a child by a Caucasian man and hasn't seen him. He hasn't seen his child in 10 years. My son is 10 years old. He held him for 30 minutes and didn't even bring a gift. It ain't just blacks who leave their kids. That's what Sharika Soul said back in August, August 31st, 2019, a little over five years ago. That's what Sharika Soul said back on August 31st, 2019. But let these divestors say it. Let the swirler community say, oh, it's only black men that's this. It's only black men that's that. I told y'all, uh, I did the other video with uh, with Cynthia G back when she was praising black men. What happened? What's going on now? Where is this, where is this energy at? I honestly believe, man, you know, and I could be wrong, but I honestly believe that women like her and Cynthia G, they are deeply in love with black men. But they they are so hurt because maybe black men don't want them because of whatever reason or treated them bad or 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 put that damn dick in their soul to the point where now they can't think clearly and the dude just got up and left their ass. I think I know for a fact that's what happened to Cynthia G. Here with Sharika Soul, I don't know what's going on with her. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure what's going on with her, but she has issues. She got problems. Let me go into this last video and we're we gonna get up out of here, man. <laughs> If you don't like that I talk about being adopted by a white woman, then stop letting white women adopt us. Cause it's okay for them to run around and tell millions of people that they adopted black children and saved them. But as soon as the black child grows up and says, my adopted mom is a white person, you want to call me a racist all up in my comment section. So listen again, ma'am, you need help. You need, you need serious help. And it's sad because she's a gorgeous woman. Loving the melanin, beautiful as hell. But it, it's just it's just sad that she has this type of mentality. 
she's too far gone. So now we have a better understanding, deeper, deeper, I should say, deeper understanding of what's going on or what had happened with her, right? Adopted by Caucasian fa Caucasian family. What happened to her black family, her mother, black father, black mother, we, we don't know. She probably doesn't know. Maybe she does know. She doesn't want to say, who knows? But what happened? She was raised by a Caucasian family, which is the reason why she wants to date Caucasian men or only wants to be with Caucasian men. But what's really going on? Your white man left you in the dust. You said it yourself. You said in the uh, let me pull it back up. You said in, in, in the other video that uh that, that that he he held your son for 30 minutes, didn't even bring you a gift or anything. Ever since then, been MIA for 10 years, a decade. What does this say here? Stop trashing black men as bad fathers. My son's dad is white and my child has not seen him in 10 years. What is really going on, ma'am? Swirler community, where are y'all at? What's going on? Why y'all ain't saying nothing about this? Talk to me. <laughs> Maybe I think differently, man. I, you know, it's it's just it's just I, I just I just don't get it. I don't and you know, to the black women that only wants to date outside of their race or date any man but a black man, that's cool, that's fine. But do not go speaking negatively. I found other videos of her. There's too many videos, bro. I can't download all those videos. So many other videos where she's talking down on black men, saying black man A B C one, two, three. But then when you go back five years ago, six years ago, you were praising black men, saying, Hey, stop trashing black men, black men this, black men that, blah, 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 blah. White my her white baby daddy is trash. There is a, a marketplace, right? There is a, a mar there's a marketplace for talking down on black men. Look at uh, Malika Andrews and the things that she's been saying about us. There's a marketplace. If I said half of the things that Malika Andrews has been saying, half of the things Cynthia G, Sharika Soul has been saying, my channel would not be here today. You wouldn't be watching this video right now. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to. And that's the truth of the matter. That's the truth of the matter. You know? So, uh, but no, I'm, I'm done, man. I, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, y'all be safe, Erica.